Hello, this is video seven update of the fuelless generator uh, that I'm coming up with. Uh, in the last video, I didn't show it running, but um, I did some testing. I did have a do have a three horsepower, three phase motor on it now. So uh, the test today, I will have it connected to the power grid uh, just because my battery is low. Uh, and so I'm uh, going to go ahead and show you kind of what I came up with. So I got actually got a drive here. Um, that will run it so if i push run and i broke my drive right there but if i press run it will run but as soon as i put it under a load uh it will fault out so this 10kw might be too much of a generator um for this three phase three horse motor um now a lot of people i've seen on, seen on youtube have a three horse running like a 50 kilovolt our kilowatt generator um I, I don't see how i have a little two horse over there single phase that couldn't do the job so i'm selling that off i now got a three horse three phase low voltage um drive and so this is all speed is correct uh the next test would be to uh take off that gearbox and have a five inch pulley on this motor connected straight to that 10k day because i did have a one one and a half horse single phase on here and it it burned up the motor but it did run it even under a load um so uh maybe it's maybe the gearbox the five to one's causing some type of extra load which shouldn't be the case because it should provide more torque so and then i don't know it's a combination of trial and error here but i got belt auto belt tensioners down there um right now i do not have the alternator that charges the battery hooked up because it just way too much load on the on the motor um so i'll show it running um with with the uh three horse and the 10 kw uh or 10,000 watt generator which again i think is just too much uh for this for the size motor might have to step up to like a six or a ten or something but see the amps going up dropping back down to normal range four and a half so it is running, it actually is going right. So you can see it, it's getting up to speed. So it's humming right now, but uh, I'll pause this and show it under load and it will fault. So it is running, but it will fault if I put a load on it, so stay tuned. There's the angle grinder, I'm already pulling. 11 amps, uh, it's back down to 8. It's pulling about 11 amps, which is kind of pushing it. So that 3 horsepower does about 7 amps under a load. So it's normal until I uh, bump this guy. So that's 11 amp 120 angle grinder. And so, see if it shows a fault. Nope, it already reset itself. But it did fault. So, people on YouTube that have a one horse motor connected to a 10,000 watt generator and it's running, and as soon as you put a load on it and it's still running, I. I don't see how, um, I don't know. Uh, this is, I'm progressing pretty far on this. So next test I'll do is uh, probably take that motor and drive it directly with a belt, uh, reposition everything and drive it on the grid still. So I'm not on, on battery power or anything, which it will run as long as I have that hooked up. But for testing purposes, I kept draining it cause I don't have that alternator and I don't have a battery charger. So um but that inverter will work so it's a pure sine wave but next test um will to be to put a pulley which i have one on that three horse motor three phase motor um and drive it directly to the actual generator so i'll take off that big pulley uh gearbox and remount the motor and drive it direct so if that doesn't work um i don't know i don't want to use bad words but i call bs on a lot a lot of things on the internet 
that show smaller motors working with these bigger generators because that's only a 10,000 watt. It should work based on what everything I've seen. So, and that little alternator actually only pulls five. So it'd probably drive that and recharge the battery. Um, but as far as running a 10,000 watt generator, I don't think so. Um, I, the next step, I'm gonna probably sell off that 10,000 watt generator because it is a lot and I just don't want to buy a huge motor. I want to kind of size down at this point, um, but I'm, I'll probably get a 5,000 or 5KW, cut it in half um, and see if how it drives it then. Um, Cause that 10,000, I would love to use that, but it's a, uh, it's a lot of generator, even for a three horse, three, three phase motor tied to a gearbox with a big pulley like that. That should have plenty of torque. Um, but as soon as I put a load on that bad boy, 11 amps isn't much on a 10,000 watt generator. It, it falls out the drive. Um, so and that drive is actually protecting that motor as well. And that three phase is, should be a lot more torquier than a still single phase, even at 220. So um, stay tuned. Uh, next video will probably be me testing this. Uh, and then probably uh, in the meantime, I'll be also sourcing a 5,000 watt generator instead to kind of keep the current set that I have, except uh, try to get uh, try to get it to work. So stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. All right. So I just got done hooking up the three horse, three phase motor directly to this 10 kW generator head, and it is running on a VFD to protect my motor because that motor will not self-protect itself so we'll burn it up just like my one and a half horse did so um that's a five inch pulley and then that's obviously a smaller um, pulley there so i did try to run this Let's see the amps drop back down but as soon as it starts creating power Gearbox definitely helped the uh, the load on the actual motor. So again, going back to my theory that I just think that's too much generator for that three horse motor. So I'm going to try to basically um, cut that in half to a five five kilowatt um, generator and go from there. So um, I might try a few more things real quick. Um, reprogram this. Uh, I don't know what it was running. Hurt wise. Got it to 60 hertz. If that's the case, so I'll try to knock it down a little bit. See what it does. Uh, I didn't even make it, so it's not even gonna work. So yeah, that doesn't work. Three horsepower is definitely not enough motor for a 10 kW. Um, so Back to the uh, the gearbox and a smaller generator to come. So I actually might go ahead and actually hook that motor to that generator just to charge my battery um, and see if that actually works uh, the way I think it should. Uh, I actually do have a little belt and stuff so I could slide back that motor, reposition it and hook it up to that alternator and charge that battery. Um, run that, If it should definitely run that, but this 10KW is just too much generator. Uh, so more to come. Thank you. Bye. All right, another update. Same video seven. Um, I did connect the 160 amp alternator to uh, the motor, and it seems to be doing fine. You got eight, almost seven and a half amps, almost eight on the input side connected to the grid, which it will run on the inverter. And I'll show you that. One under its nameplate value. Uh, so that's doing good there. It's definitely burning off some cobweb. You can smell the burnt dust inside the alternator. I have ran them off. Uh, and then here's the uh, inverter. You can see it's staying charged. Now, I will do. Put this beast in. Here. And then, uh, right here it bobbed down.
off this real quick. And that pulls a lot of amps. It's 120 to 3 phase, so input voltage is amperage is probably gonna be higher than output on this. <sighs> so take this bad boy. Sorry about all the dizziness. I'd rather have it connected here because that's higher voltage or uh, amperage rating direct, but just for testing purposes, put it in the plug. So, step back here. So you can see, connect to the inverter. Again, I'll get a 5,000 watt generator. Then we'll see if the alternator will uh, handle the load with a gearbox. This is direct, so definitely know that um, if I had a gearbox on here, it, it wouldn't be struggling at all. But, um, Go ahead and turn it on again. We're running it with, tied to the inverter, the, uh, down below from the battery. So you see it kick in a little bit, you'll hear it go. There, producing power. Got 12 volt DC going to the battery, down to the inverter, and continuous loop. In this scenario, granted there's really not a whole lot of extra power I can get out of that unless I get a bigger, a lot bigger inverter stuff like that, um, that alternator will keep that battery charged. For now, do a quick little walk around. Again, sorry about all the wiggling here. Let's see, it's all connected. Poor 10KW generator, just too much, too much for this thing. Um, there's my auto tensioner being, lifting that battery up off that bolt so I don't punch a hole through the bottom, so. But it is running. You can see we're pulling about 1,830 watts. Power being used. That alternator is more than enough. It's actually rated for a semi. Probably too much. Probably too much, but it's definitely not going to uh, uh, underpower this thing for any by any means. That's 3,500 watts. See what this little guy does. We should be at about two grand or 2,500 watts. Too much, so that's why we need alt, uh, a generator. So we can use the inverter to power the motor, um, and then should be good. So be off the grid at some point, but that's my little test. We faulted it, so um, see if we can uh, unplug that. Get that out of the way. So we're just back down to the motor. Looks like it's happy now. It's charging the battery. Again, if this is connected to a gearbox. And then the way I had it set up before with a smaller generator, maybe this alternator, that might be too much alternator. Um, should be able to run this, but we'll see. It's all uh, in testing, right? So. Back, back to running again, direct drive. Not uh, pulling too many amps for that motor, so we're not gonna burn anything up. And do some power, charging the battery. But again, 5kW generator on the way, 10k out the door, it's, it's, it's too much. Requires like 25, 30 foot pounds of torque. To keep that thing running, if not more. Uh, so, can't do it with this setup. And I'd rather change the generator out than everything else. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. Bye.